Hey gems, I hope everyone is doing and feeling well. Today is May the 2nd. It, it is approximately 1124, okay? Um, I've already prayed, I've already saged and gathered up the cards that fell out, okay? And asked my ancestors and guides to lead us in truth today, okay? But before we jump into the cards and see what the energy holds, I want to talk about two um, dreams that I had over these last few days, okay? Um, the first one is involving a sibling who I am no longer in contact with, okay? I have not spoken to this person. I believe it was 2017, the last time I had any interaction with this individual, okay? Um, however, in the dream, it was me and this person, and we were standing somewhere, and then all of a sudden, this person had a razor blade, and they just started slashing me, just started slashing me. And my chest, my arm, my face, okay, um, which, you know, was kind of weird because, like I say, I don't have any interaction with this individual. Um, I never really liked this person's energy since we were a child, okay? It was always something off about this person. This person was very disturbed as a child, okay? Um, and I really made the decision to just cut it off. You know, as I did with a lot of other individuals, because they really showed me then why I should cut it off. And that's what I did. Um, so if any of you all know that you are in contact with a sibling or siblings, OK, if you know, these people had a hand in trying to destroy your life and also stealing something from you. If these individuals try to come back around and be like, oh, you know, let's meet up or, you know, da 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 da, woo -da, woo -da, woo -da do not go. OK, because these people could have the worst intentions planned for you. OK. And this sibling was a male, okay? Um, this sibling who I'm referring to is a male. And yeah, I, I <laughs> anywho, like I said, this person has always been disturbed. So if y'all ever, you know, receive a call from people that you do no longer deal with, and you know these people energy ain't right, do not go because they may have something planned for you and it's not nothing. It's a surprise, but it's not a good surprise, okay? Because that was just like, I mean, just slashing me everywhere. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, I was able to get away, but the fact that this person, you know, even did that was like weird, okay? So that can definitely be something that someone may be trying to do. So y'all be on your P's and Q's, be watchful, all right? Um, and then the next dream I had, it was about some theft of mail and something pertaining to do with home and monies. So it was me and my mother standing in a kitchen area and... It looked like we stayed in a country area, okay, because it was like a lot of green woods and stuff. But from where we were standing in the kitchen area, they had a window and we were able to see the road, okay? So we were able to see the male guy passing by, but he was particularly looking directly in our direction. Like, you know, like we almost made eye contact. However, the, the home was far from the road, but we still was able to like see Well, I was able to see him. OK, he was a light skinned male um, with a low haircut. And I want to say that the uh, mail truck was blue, I believe. OK, so as I was seeing him uh, looking, it was some neighbors that stayed to the right of us. OK, um, and these were Caucasian males. They were also walking up to our um, door. OK, um, but as they were walking up him, them, because it was two males. They were exchanging some type of words with the mail carrier. OK, so as they were walking up to our door, the mail carrier kept going. And then I saw him loop around. And by the time the neighbors came to our house, were inside of our house. We let them in. The mail carrier came back up and he dropped off some packages. OK, but it was something fishy between the mail carrier and those neighbors. OK. And the, mail, the neighbors, they came over and they was talking to us, but it was something like, I don't know, it was something like trickster, conniving energy, like somebody knows something that you don't know, right? So <clears throat> once they left, I just felt the need that I needed to go in, their, in my backyard, which was connected to their backyard, and listen in on their conversation. So they were in like, um, you know, have you ever had a hayride? They were inside of a hayride. Somebody else was, I don't know if it was a lawnmower that they, somebody was driving or it was a truck or something was pulling them and they was in back of the hayride and him and the other gentleman was talking. It was a younger guy and it was an older guy. And they was like, yeah, this payment was extremely larger than the last payment we received. 
and they were saying, yeah, that the people were saying it was like a lady was sending the payments. Okay. And it was like, yeah. Um, so we, so they was talking about what they're going to do with the money and something about a house, but the house and the money that they were talking about, it belongs to me, you know, in the dream. So that's when I tore like the, the foot fence was wooden and I tore off the fence and I was like, um, Y'all got 3.5 seconds to give me what is rightfully mine. I heard everything y'all was talking about and I want what's mine. And that's another, oh, you know, they were like startled because they didn't know that, you know, I was, I didn't hear, they didn't know that I was hearing them or listening to the conversation. Long story short, it's something going on with some monies in a house. You're supposed to be receiving some type of payments, but you are not receiving these payments. And it could be some neighbors um, that are interfering with your mail and the mail carrier is definitely involved in this. Okay. Um, like I said, there were two Caucasian males. One was a little younger. I would say one probably like in his 40s, okay? And the older gentleman could have been in his 60s, okay? They had on blue. That was another thing. It was blue. The, tr the mail truck was blue. And then they had on blue, okay? Um, and this morning when I was sitting there thinking about it, I saw a tag and it said Texas. So this could be something connected to Texas because I, you know... I, Man, I get signs all the time and what seems a little, you know, strange or odd to me is really not. It's all a connection. And I think the state of Texas, blue child, blue and red. So, yeah, it could be something about the state of Texas. OK, you could have some property or y'all can be from um, Texas, but it's definitely something uh, pertaining to some mail that y'all are not receiving. The mailman and your neighbors or whoever the individuals are, are in cahoots. OK. All right. So just wanted to talk about that before we jump into the energy. OK. Um, so let me just shuffle one more time. Like I have not already been shuffling. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two more times. One more time. But yeah. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, we have the squirrel here. So this is the gossip. So somebody has definitely been gossiping about an individual. Okay. Um, these people just have been saying some things about you, you know, it could be true or not, but it looks like it's not true because we have here, they didn't check the car facts. Now they're looking crazy. Okay. So the joke is on them. So you definitely have some individuals who was talking about you. These people may not even knew you or know of you, um, per se. Okay. This can be somebody that is of acquaintance of yours or, or not. Okay. Or if someone else and they think that they know you, but whatever they were saying about you, it, it's not true. Okay. And now, you know, somebody may be checking these individual or this individual, okay, because now it says the joke is on them, but you definitely have somebody who was gossiping about you. And then we have here consumed with the thought of you. So you definitely on somebody mind, child. And this can be for the right reasons or the wrong reason. But at the same time, this gossip could be because someone, this could be someone you did have dealt with, okay, and maybe that you are no longer in contact with this individual. And they are just talking about you in a negative way because they're upset because you will not allow them back into your energy, okay? Um, because the next card out we have here is the dream killer. So this person could be gossiping about you, or this person could be gossiping about you to someone who may want to um come in and you know offer you some type of relationship or position, okay? And they are talking about you in order to hopes to stop whatever this is that is coming in for you, okay? Because we have, like I said, the dream killer cards out here, or this could just be individuals who feel like they don't have a purpose in life, okay. They don't have anything going on, so they don't want you to have anything going on. So they, you know, they just, you know, talk about you in order to make you look as them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Child, then we got clone, cloned here. So somebody definitely is trying to clone another individual. And this is actually a clone card. Okay. So somebody can definitely try to become you. Okay. Someone definitely could be doing something, trying to clone another individual. Okay. Oh, child, this is crazy. All right. So then we have here a pickup truck. So someone drives a pickup truck. And this is so funny. The person I was referring to in the dream um, drives a pickup truck. OK, um, but somebody definitely drives a pickup truck here. So y'all be, you know, on, a, you know, be watchful of anyone driving a pickup truck. However, we do know. And I was just saying that the colors in that dream was blue and Last time I had a dream about this country setting, uh, I was talking to an older man with what would be in his 60s or 70s. OK, he had on a plaid shirt that was red and this individual had on a plaid shirt and it was blue. And I do think the state of Texas colors are blue and red, if I'm not mistaken here. OK, um, and I do want to say that that mail truck was blue and it had a little bit of red in it. Now that I'm thinking on it. OK, um, 
yeah, we have here out of touch. Okay. So you have someone who wants to communicate with another individual. Okay. This person, you know, this can be the person who is consumed with the thoughts of you. This person definitely wants to reach out and have a conversation. However, this can be the dream killers. All right. Um, so they may be trying to strategize a way to get in contact with you, trying to see what they can say that will bait you in, in order to be able to, um, you know, get in your energy. So y'all just be watchful of anyone whom, you know, like I said, in, in the beginning of the dream who were not, um, necessarily, um, had the best intentions for you from the jump. Okay. Yeah. Somebody, somebody is definitely you know, needing to harness one's inner strength, okay? Um, or someone's recognizing that you have a great inner power, okay? Whoever you are, you have a great inner power that you recognize or other individuals are recognizing, okay? And then we have here, um, so somebody can definitely be thinking about you um, because they want a new relationship with you, okay? Um, this person feels like this could be something promising, okay? And this can be why the individuals who are gossiping about you, okay, are doing so because they know that someone, again, may be interested in you and they do not want to see this come together, okay? So they're around here just gossiping about you saying in and all that they think that will detour someone else away from you, okay? And then we have child abuse. Ooh, okay, so there can be something about a child um, being abused here, okay? Um, Hell, somebody could be saying that you abuse children, but it's something about child abuse out here. And yesterday, not yesterday, this was two days ago, I did a reading. Um, it was kind of disturbing. So I, you know, I just didn't even, I, I didn't even upload it, but it was definitely something about middle school age kids, um, preschool age kids and elementary school age kids. And what I was picking up from that was it could be like, you know, how it's like after school care. It could be like, a you know, somewhere like that where you send your kids to and it could have been um, some type of employee or staff member there that were involved in abusing some children. OK, um, that definitely can be the case here or this can be should be somebody else just is, a you know, abusing their child or someone else's child here. Oh, my God. So if you have some type of platform, again, just know that they are most definitely holding your channel back. OK, they are trying to stop you uh, from receiving. Um, the notoriety that you deserve. Okay. Um, they are lying about your subscribers, your views. Okay. And things of that nature. Okay. Um, and this is being done out of hatred, um, could be classes and just pure evil and jealousy. Okay. Um, you can be a healer. Okay. You can be some type of counselor, spiritual advisor, a teacher, somebody, you know, woke, see a medium. I don't know who you are, but you can be someone that they are doing this to. Okay. This is my person that's on the upright side. I definitely don't think that you would be the one that's doing this to uh, someone. So I really feel like you are some type of spiritual advisor. You do something here. Um, and whatever you do, it just pisses a lot of people off. Like I said, it could be envious, um, you know, classes, whatever it may be. But you definitely have somebody playing with your channel. OK, we have anesthesia here. Um, so someone could, you know. We got clone to your child don't let me figure out somebody really in that damn laboratory trying to make another you okay because we got anesthesia here and then we got clone to child so oof, I... oh, okay so anyway we have here someone is wanting more okay someone is like it's an intense feeling of just wanting more like more excitement adventure okay more knowledge okay you know something just that is going to better yourself. Okay. The betterment of self. And this can be, um, work wise. This can be, um, you know, in friendship, this can be in love, but someone's soul is yarning for more. Okay. This person wants to go on an adventure. Okay. You have an immense urge, um, for excitement. Okay. And this can be pertaining to love here. Cause we do have this, um, you know, this, you know, promising new relationship, cause that can definitely be that. So y'all may be on the lookout for that. Cause somebody could definitely be you know, getting ready to have a new relationship. Okay. Um, yeah, but you know, whoever these individuals are, Jim, whether this is about someone stealing from you, um, whether this is about somebody who has been gossiping about you, whether this is someone who has been, um, you know, playing with your channel. Okay. Just know that, um, 
things will come to an end. Um, I can't tell you when they will come to an end, but you just know this can be individuals that you are aware of and those that you are not aware of, but just know that um, they will be caught and they will have to pay what they weigh, okay? And unfortunately, it looks like some things has been done. <laughs> some things has been done that was very uh, cruel to you or others. And this could result in individuals passing away, okay? Especially if these people were playing in some type of spell work um, that is pertaining to death spells, okay? And death spells can be on a range of many forms, okay? This can be people, you know, trying to have you um, get into an accident to cause your death, okay? This can be people doing things to cause a brain aneurysm, okay? This can be doing things to people to um, have you have a heart attack, okay? This can even be doing things where they, you know, send energy out to someone else who is in a low vibration and you just being attacked while you're out, okay? But whatever this is, that they were wishing on you, baby, they're going to have to pay for this. And like I say, some going to have to pay with their lives, okay? Whatever this shit is here. Okay, yeah, somebody's secrets are being exposed, okay? Someone's secrets are being exposed, okay? Um, yeah, maybe you are exposing someone's secrets, Jim, and this can be why somebody's trying to hold back your channel or whatever it is that you're doing. Somebody's afraid of you really reaching Excuse me, I thought I had to burp. I do got a burp, but it's not coming. Okay. Oop, excuse me. There it was. Okay. There it is. Someone can just be afraid of you exposing their secrets. So this can be why someone is holding your channel back. Okay. This can even be why someone is gossiping about you, you know, trying to paint you in a um a picture uh so other people may view you as a liar or unstable or something like that. So if whatever you're speaking on, you know, people will just dismiss it like, oh, this person crazy. Oh, they say this person a liar, so they're just, you know, doing this so people won't necessarily take what you're saying. You know, they want they don't want your words to hold weight, all right? Because <laughs> somebody's afraid about their secrets of being exposed. And do we have an anniversary here? So somebody's anniversary is coming up, okay? This can be any type of anniversary. This can, you know, but we do have here an anniversary that is approaching. Okay, yeah, so we have someone is definitely... um. Someone is determined to survive, okay? Someone has an innate drive for survival. Someone knows how to swim against the currents, okay, Jim? This can be you um, doing this, you know, trying to block out all the negativity and keep moving forward as you have people who are grabbing at you, okay? Grabbing at your feet, grabbing at your shirt, trying to pull you back and stop you, these damn dream killers in any way, shape, or form. You have an innate drive for survival, okay? You are very determined to go in the direction you are meant to go in, okay? And if this is not you, these are these individuals who are trying to kill your dreams, okay? They are determined to stop and block your path any way they can. But I don't think it's going to happen because we already have out here every hidden and every known enemy who has caused you pain and made money off you. They will pay and some will pay with their lives, okay? And do we have prescription pills out here? So anesthesia, uh, subscription pills and then we clone so this can even be somebody who has some type of surgery and they may be um you know or recovering some type of sickness and now they are taking prescription pills a child or somebody could have even had some type of surgery and became addicted to some type of pills but we have this clone out here and this is my card where somebody's definitely trying to clone another individual like cloning is real y'all could think i'm crazy all y'all want to but somebody definitely trying to clone another individual here okay but we do have and ooh, then we have to fucking cover up somebody trying to cover something up okay somebody's definitely um trying to cover something up here okay um this could be somebody even either that is in a same-sex relationship and they could be um using another individual as a beard here but somebody is definitely trying to cover something up here and we do have here exposing someone's secrets okay so someone could be trying to expose someone's secrets about them being on the down low being involved with the same sex here or this can be about the individuals who have been trying to kill your dreams okay 
So yeah, okay. So you have um someone or some individual who they just they just want to disturb your peace. They do not like your elevation. They do not like your growth. Okay. They do not like your positive um mind frame. Okay. They do not like that you are very um optimistic. Okay. They are very pessimistic and pessimistic, and you are very optimistic, and they do not like that. So these people want to disturb your peace because they really don't have any. They have none. Okay. And like I said, these are the crabs in the bucket mentality type people. They wanted to hold you back. They don't want you to grow because it makes them feel insecure because you have, um, you just think differently. Okay, Jim, you view life differently. You think different. Okay. Um, you know what really matters in life. It seems like here and these individuals are stuck in a cycle because they are too afraid, afraid to be who they truly are. Okay. Um, yeah, well, you definitely have somebody who wants you, child. Whether you are man or woman, you have someone who thinks that you are damn fine, okay? <laughs> this person finds you highly attractive, okay? And and they want you, okay? And again, this can be why individuals around here gossiping, trying to stop and block us from coming in. Um, but we have her phone being tapped by them boys with the letter on the back, okay? So you, somebody's phone is being tapped at this time. Someone's phone is being tapped, um, and this is by... Like I said, some federal agents maybe, but someone's phone is definitely tapped here. And then we have her big fish offering up a little fish to cover the track. So this can be um, something in a higher uh, industry here. This can be anywhere, but we definitely have her somebody that is a big player. It's offering up someone who is a little under them to cover up their tracks, okay? Um, shit, this can even be somebody trying to clone somebody clone themselves in order to get away with something okay somebody can know that someone is looking into them so they may be paying some money to clone them so if anything even if anybody get locked up it's gonna be the clone of them why they're gonna be scot-free living somewhere else in a different world okay in a different country not i'm not not saying that's the truth but i'm saying that could definitely be the case here okay we have to ask and you shall receive slack and you shall lack so it's something someone needs to speak up and ask about okay someone has some questions about something um and they may be a little hesitant, maybe a little afraid. Okay, whatever this is, but remember, you will never have what you need. Um, you will never know the information that you desire um, to know of if you do not ask. So please do not be afraid to ask for whatever it is that you are needing, okay? Um, but somebody needs to know that they are definitely protected, okay? Because we have here the Eye of Horus, and this has everything to do with the protection card here. Um, also, if you have been under the weather, like we have the anesthesia card here, we have um, prescription pills. So if you are someone who went under some type of surgery, just know that your health will be restored, okay? Because um, we have the restoration card here as well, okay? Or something is just going to be restored in your life. Something can take place on a Monday, okay? Somebody can be born in September or something can go down in September, okay? Yeah, you have... <laughs> Man, you got people just talking major shit about you, talking major crap about you, okay? Um, they definitely don't want you to be seen for who you truly are, okay? These people, you know, saying anything to try to downplay whoever you are, okay? Because um, they just don't want you to receive what is rightfully yours, okay? The 29th is significant, okay? So Monday, September the 29th, something can take place. I don't even know if that's, you know, on a Monday. The 29th on a Monday, on September. I just, this just came out, so okay? Okay, so then we have here um, uh, violence here, fight, attack. So some type of attack might break out, attack. Somebody might try to attack someone, some type of violent act, okay? Um, so y'all be careful for me to have that dream when I said it was a sibling damn show attacking me, child, child out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even deal with this person. So y'all definitely be um, watchful because you can definitely have someone, again, you know that someone is trying to invite you somewhere that you don't deal with or you just feeling funny about a situation. Do not go because this can definitely be something that is planned to attack you, okay? Especially if these people are involved in stealing from you or doing anything that can get them locked up, okay? Um, which is really stupid, okay? Like, even if you were involved in doing something to someone, I'm pretty sure them people already know it. So if you attack this person, that's just going to make you look more guilty, okay? <laughs> and another charge, okay? People don't really think like that, but anywho. Um, just be uh watch for guys because somebody definitely trying to attack someone. Yeah, we have to base your diet off your um blood type. So somebody definitely could have went 
um, under some type of surgery for some type of health issue. Um, and in order to, you know, get back to your normal self and restore yourself, you need to definitely base your diet off of your blood type. Okay. Eat, um, for your blood type here. All right. Or someone is doing that. Okay. And then it says, hate that you're telling on them. So again, you are speaking some type of true gem and you may not even know who you're speaking on. If you are an intuitive person, I mean, well, sometimes you do because they show you these individuals. But then again, sometimes you don't even know who the hell you be picking up on. You just reading their energy and you have someone who is pissed off because they you they think that you're, you know, trying to tell on them. And if you are on YouTube, they're trying, they want, and it's, and we, so it says, hey, you are telling on them, trying to make you quit posting on YouTube. Okay. And then we have here one, one, two. I hate you. Okay. I know what I'll do. I'll change a number or two. So you definitely have here somebody playing with your channel. So something you're doing, you're definitely speaking the truth. Okay. You're definitely somebody who speaks the truth and somebody that's not like that. So they're doing things because they want you to stop because they feel like you are telling on them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, um, Jim, you are definitely going through some type of um, transformation here. Okay. Um, some type of progress you're going to be making with this transformation. Okay. Um, and this could be what is causing an uprise in other individuals life because they know that whatever it is that you do, whatever this transformation, um, that you're going through. Okay. It's going to bring some type of progress in your life. Okay. Whether this be, um, career wise, whether this be, you know, meeting new people that's on the same level as you. Okay. Whether this be in your finances or love, you're going to make some type of progress and these individuals do not want you to do this. This is why they're trying to disturb your peace because they hate your growth. They do not want to see you grow because they haven't grown. Okay. Something about Fe February is significant here. Something could have taken place in February. Okay. Um, someone could be born in February. So we have February is, um, Aquarius and September is, um, Virgo. Okay. Or it can be Pisces, um, or Libra just depending on the day that you're born. Okay. So we have here someone showing up to someone's place unannounced here. Okay. So again, this can be, you know, somebody who wants to date you. This can be someone who is trying to attack you. Okay. Um, but just know that you do have someone who is going to pop up, um, unannounced wherever you are. So just make sure that you're being diligent. Okay. Um, and in that reading that I did not post, it was definitely some shady shit going on. And this was in the entertainment industry, okay? This was about a male who had a lot of individuals who were trying to get at you and not for the right reasons, okay? And it was so funny because the word of the day popped up on my phone and it was watchful, okay? The word was watchful to be diligent, okay? So y'all definitely need to be being watchful and be diligent because you do have someone who wants to do something to you that is not... um. <laughs> that is not so nice, okay? 21 is significant. Oh, somebody is being audited. Okay, somebody has their finances being looked into at this time or someone is going to be audited. We have audit here. Okay, and then we have a spiritual knowing, okay? So somebody definitely has a spiritual knowing. It fell out in the reverse, okay? So this could be somebody who was saying that they have the spiritual knowing that they are paying dimensional, okay? And maybe they're not. Maybe this person could have been making some type of money um, in an unethical way and they have been audited. Okay, yeah, but someone sees someone as Someone sees somebody that's very wise here. You have an elegance about yourself and your intelligence is very sexy to someone. Okay. <laughs> um, and resilient. <laughs> someone sees you as very resilient. Okay. And I think somebody, somebody love this about you. you have people who love this about you, but you also have individuals who hate this about you. Okay. They hate how resilient you are, how you are able to back, bounce back from difficult times. Oh, 
oh child then we got sacrifice child so oh child and this is what i'm talking about make sure y'all i'm telling y'all y'all be careful out here because like i said this is gonna be on a bigger scale but somebody definitely gonna be trying to sacrifice somebody child somebody can be trying to sacrifice somebody ass and clone them um just know that you are her whoever you are um you can have a lot of individuals who are purposely trying to make you seem like you are not her okay um this can be on some type of platform or this can just be in life in general but whoever you are just know that you are most definitely heard okay 19 is significant june is significant so oh june 19 somebody be born june 19 okay and then something is definitely um the tides are turning and this can have somebody in deep pensive thought. Somebody is in melancholy energy at this time. This can be somebody born in June. Somebody can be born June 19th, okay, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but somebody definitely is upset um, and, you know, a little frustrated because the tides are turning. And I think it's turning in your favor. And this can have somebody want to attack you. And then we have Hawaii here. Somebody can be from Hawaii or something significant about Hawaii. And then we have a car. excuse me do we have here family you've never met okay so this can be someone who you you know um for some of y'all who you don't you can have family that you never met because you are adopted okay or you could have been taken at birth or something like that but it's something about family here that you have never met long lost family members okay you may be getting ready to meet these people okay we have cut off so somebody can be being cut off okay this can be a family member that you have never met maybe you're supposed to receive something and these people are trying to keep it from you okay somebody could be more born in march or something significant about march somebody could have got cut off in march okay and we got india here so we got hawaii and india that is significant you can be from these places you can have family members from these places but it's something significant about India and Hawaii. And if we got caught a drug case, so try somebody around here flanking that yayo <laughs> and caught a drug case. <laughs> okay, this can take place in the future. Okay? Something can take place in the future. Somebody can, you know, catch a case in the future. Yeah, somebody's on edge. Okay, somebody's anxious about something. Somebody's nervous. And this can be about some, you know, this type of drug case or you finding out about a long lost family. Or something of the sort. So something can take place on a whining moon. During a winding moon cycle, something can take place, okay? Or something is just wrapping up, something is complete, okay? Oh, my God. Then it says you will find out who you are and where you come from. Child, somebody could be having a sex change. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, somebody trying to become somebody else. And this could be of a different, say you are a woman. There's a man who are, is trying to become you. Or if you are a man, there's a woman who is trying to become you, uh, what the fuck? We got ginger affirming surgery, clone, anesthesia, child. Somebody could be going under the knife to try to become somebody else. What the? Three is significant. And then we got a church. So this can be somebody can be connected to a church. This could be somebody from a church. In the mother suck child. That ought to be against the law. Or love, hate. So this can be somebody who, this is just jealousy. That's all it is. Somebody else's insecurities lead to their fucking jealousy. And they want to, but, but they want to be you. Oh my God damn it. The costume card. Come on. Somebody is changing their appearance here. Somebody is trying to become another individual. What the fuck? This person hates you so much that they want to be you? Oh, 
bro, what is this shit? People are people are crazy. And do we have here elementary school age again? So this can be the child that's being abused here. There could be a child that's in elementary school that's being abused. And this could be somebody in the church that's doing this. I mean, I don't know. That's just how it fell out. Okay. And then we have first fucking lady. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't never make this shit up. And I would never make this up, y'all. I would never do that to y'all. <sighs> oh, my God. And we have a doctor. First lady, a doctor, elementary school age here. Oh, I got a fucking headache. I just got a headache out of nowhere. Okay, what's this? Arizona? Something about Arizona is significant. And then we have plane here. So we got Arizona. We got Hawaii and India. Something about a plane. First lady, a doctor. I, I don't know. Oh, God, people are sick. People are sick. Okay, yeah, so somebody, you know, who wanted to purposely leave you out in the cold, and then on top of that, it says, do not want to give you your assets back. So, Charles, this could be somebody who stole something from you, and they don't want to, they don't want to give you your assets back, so they can be trying to plan to attack you, take you out, and then become you, take over your identity. What the fuck? What? Oh, what in the America is going on here? And then we got frozen accounts. So, child, is we had audit, and then we got frozen accounts. So, somebody damn accounts could be frozen at this time. Somebody could have been audited or being audited. And this is why their accounts are froze because somebody's looking into somebody's financial um, financial situation. Something ain't right. Something ain't adding up, baby. And then we got child neglect here. We got child abuse and child neglect here. And then we have you need and have to get out of your town or your city. So y'all try whoever you are. Like I said, please be watchful. Please keep you some type of protection because I'm telling you, you got some people out here that want to do some harm to you. Because somebody wants to become you. They want to take over your goddamn life. These people hate you that bad. They want to take you out and take over your life. It's time for you to get the hell out of your town, or city, state, whatever this is. The same for everybody. Don't put your shoe, your foot in the shoe that does not fit. We got vehicle being repossessed. So, yeah, somebody. Okay, so this can be this first lady. This I don't know. This can be a doctor child. This can be the people at the church. But somebody definitely done been audited and their counts being the frozen. Accounts are being frozen and they're not able to pay for their vehicles anymore. So their vehicles are being repossessed. And we got a Gemini here. So somebody is a Gemini. We did have June out here. That's the first sign that came out. And then we have the new moon. So something can take place on the new moon. Or some of y'all need to, you know, get some rest, okay, and detox or something like that. We have a music producer here. So again, this can be going on in the music industry, child. And then we have it. It's not worth it. So somebody is saying something is not worth it. Okay. They feel like it ain't worth it. And whatever this is, it's not worth it. Or y'all need to know whatever this shit y'all plan on doing, it ain't worth it. Don't do it. It's definitely not worth it. Okay. Something about a Sunday. Somebody can be doing um some type of holistic, holistic. I can't even say it. Holistic healing. Okay. The number two is significant. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, these people are seeing that whoever these individuals are jealous, okay? They see these people are grown, but they still have a teenage mentality, okay? Um, you know, they just just juvenile. But whatever they see, just know that we have divine justice here. So people are we already see that motherfuckers counts being audited and frozen. So we already see that these motherfuckers losing funds, okay? We got somebody here that was in, you know, taking prescription pills and needing to heal. We got the holistic healing here. So that means somebody in bad health. Somebody can be losing their career and all of that. 15 is significant. I'm sorry, y'all. This mic is shaking. I don't, you know, I won't really know until I play back. Let me just, hold on. Let me see. No, they said don't do that. 
I was going to stop it and see what it sounded like because it's darn show moving as I'm shuffling. 14 is significant. 14, 15, 15, 14 are of significance, child. And it says, no one satisfies me like you do. I'm hooked. So, child, I don't know where the hell that shit come from. You got, well, you, I don't know. This can even be what somebody trying to tell you that's from the past, child. I wouldn't trust nobody from the past, baby. Especially if you know they ass had something to do with um, trying to set you up to get you harmed, steal from you or whatever, okay? Somebody can be born in July or something can take place in July. And I definitely be watchful about these new motherfuckers coming into your life too. Deserve it. <laughs> okay? The number eight is significant. Plagiarism. Yeah, these people have been plagiarizing your work. They've been stealing from you, making money. And this can go back to this damn, um, somebody been blocking your channel, you know, taking your work and making money off of it. Somebody can be seeing somebody as a, as a fake. We got imposter. Oh my God. We got imposter here. I came to this damn copy machine, plagiarizing your damn work. But that's why they asked me to get, man, people, they're going to have to pay with their way. And then we have for somebody trying to get in contact with you. Okay. But maybe you have changed your phone number. Maybe you have this person blocked. Okay. 22 is significant. Maybe somebody been trying to get in contact with you since the year 22. You met this person in the year 22, okay? Um, yeah, somebody definitely trying to get in contact with you, but they aren't able to. November is significant, okay? Um, Native American, indigenous blood. So you come from an in, um, indigenous bloodline. You are Native American, and this can even be this land and shit that's been stolen from you, this property. You, Somebody probably been collecting payments from you monthly because of who you are, your bloodline. It's long lost relatives who you never known about, okay? Because you were taking that birth, but you are about to find out who you are. You are owed a lot of money and land. It says you need to get some rest. The number 11 is significant here. So some of y'all definitely need to get some rest, okay? Um, that card did come out where it was just saying rest or something like that. Don't worry about it. Um, especially about that, you know, needing to get out of your town or city. Just know that you do have protection around. You have um, somebody can be born in the 1950s. Just know that you do have protection around you. OK, um, you are protected um, in the spiritual realm. OK, and they always going to show you what you need to be shown. But make sure you're getting a proper rest. OK, and paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. OK, I don't care how odd it may seem to somebody else, but trust me, they trying to get you a message to you. So just pay attention and trust what you're feeling. OK, and then you have here, yeah, pay, motherfucking payout. Somebody's about to get some type of payout here. You're going to receive some type of compensation or something like this. A settlement. But I don't know about that settlement, baby. You got to pay me everything belongs to me, baby. I fuck that settlement. I need it all, bitch. I don't give a fuck if a bitch got to go down to their drawers, bitch. You're going to pay back everything you stole from me. And I mean that. I ain't nothing. Like, listen. Listen. That's just me. Y'all don't know how y'all feel. You're going to pay back everything you stole, baby. Yeah, somebody could be tampering with someone's vehicles to cause them um, mechanical issues, okay? So maybe you have to travel somewhere and somebody trying to do something to cause you some type of mechanical issues. Or this can even be just somebody trying to do this to make you have, you know, unnecessary, um, unnecessary finances that you have to pay out, okay? Something could happen in January or did, or somebody can be born in January. This can be the person who is tampering with your car, which could be a Capricorn. Or somebody can be tampering with somebody um, that's a Capricorn. We have revenge here. So somebody wants some type of revenge. And the revenge is to <clears throat> tamper with your car to cause you some type of breakdown, okay? Or to have you with some un um, unexpected expense, okay? And again, this can be somebody trying to do something to your car to have you break down where they can physically attack you. But y'all better make sure y'all got that thing on you at all times, okay? Anyway, but you know, something is definitely being, um, something or someone is being removed, okay? So things can be um, reshaped for a better fit. Or outcome for an individual or individuals at this time. Whoever you are, just know that you are good enough, okay? You don't need to change anything about you, okay? You don't need to change yourself. You are good enough. However, y'all always know it's nothing wrong with improving yourself. Because I know I, I I got a complex mind. I think I got dyslexia or some shit like that, child. I don't know, but it's a little complex. But I definitely know that I am definitely going to invest in, you know, things that help me. You are being followed for your protection, whoever you are. Okay. Love you. Later.